Hello folks, I'm L.A. Little and this is today's short take. You know, it's the end of the year. A lot of times, you know, people want to try to figure out what the long term looks like. And when you look at the long term, it's pretty amazing, really. I mean, this is the S&P 500. Since the 2011 lows, that uh, August of that year, you know, this thing has been on a march higher ever since without any serious corrections. Now we've had two or three blips, you know, where we tried to get some pullbacks. We got it here, we got it again here, and then we really didn't get anything until we got that spike down in October. It was almost 10%. Other than that, it's been pretty straight up. You know, now a lot of technicians, especially in the classical sense, are going to try to draw lines, right? Trend lines. Okay, so where do you draw it? Is it here? Does that tell you that it's broken at that point? Does that tell you that this market really no longer is on that steep incline? And even so, what does that tell you? You know, until you get weakness elsewhere, for example, until you see the weekly charts break down, here you had a break of a swing point low, lasted one bar, right? You need, you need a couple bars. It didn't do it. Right? You need to see this thing hang down here and go lower for the larger, longer-term trend to break. You know, and until you see weakness on the intermediate-term time frame where it's no longer this, right? it's no longer up, once this is broken, then we can start to think about the long-term being broken. But the intermediate term still remains for an uptrend. And until that changes, folks, the market's still a bullish market, and you have to respect it. I'm sure it will come at some point. A change will come. But until we get evidence, evidence that suggests, in fact, it will break and stay broken, then you got to lean long. That's the uh, take for today. We'll have one more tomorrow, uh, and then we'll, of course, have New Year's, and we'll start all over again.